happen? Yeah, yeah. Now we start to see in, in games. It's it's hard to scrimmage yeah. against your teammates, you know, and um, it's always nice to run into someone else rather than your own the guys you're playing with and practicing with. So, like I said from the start, there's a lot of opportunity out there, and and uh, we're gonna see. What do you do with the goalies tonight? I let Manny. He's he's figuring that out right now for us. It's gonna be a. Uh, he takes care of all that. He's got him on a schedule. What he wants. So we'll, yeah, uh, I mean, tonight does Ruby go all the way? Or? It's going to be a split tonight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll be split. Ruby start. Yeah. How about you? You personally, this is the first time as you know the head guy on the bench. I guess. Well, actually, not because you've done preseason games before. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just this is this is it. Like starting right now. I mean, how excited are you uh, to just kind of get games against other teams going and. and Mix and match lines and all that fun stuff as a coach. Yeah, well, tonight's not. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna be much mixing and matching. It's more just guys oh. performing. That's all I'm looking for tonight. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's uh, it's a lot better than just practicing all the time. You want to play against other teams. So, can you, I mean, in these preseason games as a coach, do you feel like you can learn more on the bench and, and you know learn more about? You have a lot of new players, obviously, rather than upstairs kind of thing or. Oh yeah, yeah. No, the the game's slow. You ever watch it upstairs? It's painful. I, I think so. Anyway, it, being on the bench, it's, even in bad games, it's much faster. So you get to hear, you get a feel for it on the bench, uh, kind of the temperature of, the, uh, of what's going on. You can give input if you need to give a guy a nudge, you can give him a nudge. So yeah, I think you're going to get a lot more information in these games and and, and see where they're at. What do you think about uh, Dan Porth so far? I mean, I know he came in here as a guy, you know, from Europe. <clears throat> Lot of, he actually, I think he played a lot of center, but he's playing some wing now. What, what are some of your takes on him? I guess your early, yeah. early ones. Well, it came in great shape. First of all, um, he, he's uh, he put the work in the summer. You can tell he's an energy guy. He works extremely hard out there. Uh, we're gonna try him. He'll get a shot at center in one of these games that, when we come up here. And but again, there's a lot of auditioning right now for different spots. So uh, the more versatile you can be, the better chance you have of making the team open day roster so I've talked to him about that and, and different things so I thought he's had good energy in the games um, obviously he's had tremendous seasons over there and we'll see if it translates here and, and you know this is his first opportunity to show us he's a he's a hungry player that's sort of been his one of his benchmarks how much do you feel like you're going to need that this year a guy that's always pushing and all, a relentless type player yeah I want 18 guys every night with that kind of that kind of relentless attitude and, and competitiveness. We've talked about all camp. That's that's going to be paramount for our group to, to make sure that we're we're on our toes. We're aggressive. We're we need to be a real hard team to play against. Um, we're a skating team. When I look at our group, top to bottom, we can skate. So if we're not using our legs, we're going to be in trouble. And I think he fits right into that. What our mo? What we want to be? High energy. Where he sorts that out, that it'll be dictated by his play. He's like twenty. I think he's twenty-seven or twenty years old. He's never played an NHL preseason yeah. game before. You know, I didn't know that, but yeah, it's great. Yeah, I mean, this is all sort of a new for him a little bit. Does he has he shown any sort of awestruck in camp, or does he feel like he's does he look like he's just here to take something? Yeah, no, I don't think he's wide-eyed or, or awestruck. Uh, you know, he seems he's he's been quiet, reserved, just gone about his business, which is totally fine with me. Yeah. Um, but he's putting in the effort, and, that, and that's what it is. He's. He's probably a more mature player. He took the long road. I told him, I said, you took the long road to get here. Yeah. And, and there's a lot to be said about that. It's It never came easy for him. So yeah. I'm sure uh, the first time you put on that jersey, it's it's going to be a, kind of a, even have the butterflies, even in exhibition. You know, I'm sure he'll have that even as an older guy. You know, it was one game last year, but, you know, Bemstrom did have that, that explosion for the, the hat trick. Um, was it? How nice was was it to see him finally kind of come through in that one, I guess. But but going forward, what do you what like what does he have to do? Does he does he have to be one of those guys that takes something? Is that what you're talking about? Just kind of like take his spot in the roster? Yeah, go go win yourself a job. There's there's so much for grab up for grab right now. And I, like I said, I've been in part of the organization for a long time. I haven't seen this much opportunity, even just within our guys. You guys have it under under contract, but to move up or move down or even right out of the lineup, you know, and, and that that inner or internal competition is so key. And you've got young guys pushing. You, you, you've seen Cylinder, you've seen Shinnecock. They had a great Traverse City, and now we're going to see them in games if they can translate into NHL hockey games. So, you know, whenever you guys get guys like that start to push these guys and push our veterans and push our younger guys, 
you start to grow something and foster a culture here that, that we want to continue to build on and, and have that internal push and rather than just settle in and get complacent. I think complacency is a, a really dangerous place to be for a team and we're going to see it. We're, there might be some guys on the outside looking in at the end of uh, preseason and but again, the players are going to decide that. And that goes for the defense too, right? Like it's, it's oh, yeah. the whole yeah. roster basically, right? Yeah, like I said, top to bottom. Yeah. Top to bottom. It's from our goalies to our D to our forwards. It's nothing's a lock. It's, it's, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of pencil. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Nobody's penned in in a lot of areas. It's a lot of pencil. So I mean, you were a player, so as a player, Makes you all be like chomping at the bit for that that kind of thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what? Pressure does funny things to guys. Right. Uh, some guys rise. Some guys get a little bit nervous. So that's why we play these games. You know, practice is one thing. We want to see effort, competitiveness. We're getting that. But the the games now, you get to see who can kind of slow it down in their mind and play. Right. Looking at it this way, this is along the lines of what you just said. If you look at your 12 skaters and your 6D, try to guess where people are going to go. Probably the only guy that's locked in is Wierenski, top line, left side. Is that fair to say that, that of all the 18, that that's the one you know and everything else? you got answers for the other ones for sure, but the only one you can say concretely today that that's what's set? I would say that's accurate, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's proven himself. He's, he's yeah. been a guy. He's, he's our number one D. I don't think there's any uh, question about that. Right. I think he's ready to, to kind of take that responsibility. Yeah. If you ask Zach, he's, he's hungry. So... Sure, but I, again, it, it, there's guys that are going to be on our team. I'm not sitting here saying guys are going to be off the team. What I'm saying is where the pecking order goes, it's going to be, it's going to be really interesting. It's exciting for me. I, I, I like to watch that, that, that scrap it out. And, and if they're disappointed because they're lower, it's all based on performance. It's, yeah. it's not personal. It's just that the players are going to dictate through, which it gives that push. You, you, can't, you can't get lazy. You can't fake the work. You got to put it in every day. You mentioned Chinikov and Sillinger before. Is the plan for them this preseason just to play as much as possible and get as many eyes on them as you can? I'd like to see them in a lot of games. Now, is that probably not all eight? But um, yeah, I want to see them play. I, I, I've I've seen them in Traverse, and that's that's kind of one step. And I thought they passed that. But now against NHL players or more NHL players within the lineup, and 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 playing with NHL players is different too. You know, and so um, I'm excited to watch them play. I am. I, I, I just, I, there's a lot to be excited about with these two young men. Are they ready for it? We're going to see. I've kind of looked in the first four, three or four days of camp, like, like Sillinger looks like he did in, to me anyway, name of ties, uh, in Trevor City, like he's just kind of taking it. It looked like Chinnikov maybe worked his way. I mean, is that what it looks like? Like Chinnikov's starting to kind of come around maybe a little more than he did at the beginning of camp? Yeah, I, I, the, the one thing I've, I've liked about Chinnikov is, it, it, one, he's there's a language barrier there. It, it's right. not that he doesn't know English, but it's still it's not his first language and yeah. he's learning. So I, I, I'll i tell you this, Gus and, and Boone have done a real good job of, you know, that was by design, so he had some leaders. And I didn't tell him to, but they took him under his wing a bit and trying to help him through in right. this camp and explain stuff and, hey, grab him. I, I watched that close. And so he absorbed it right away. Which for me is really exciting to see because he's he's trying and he's understanding what we're doing, but his effort's been fantastic. I thought he's been on his toes. I thought he's been working. You know, I've been watching him very closely, like others. But um, and Cylinder same. He seems like a poised kid. You know, he's 18. He's um, but again, it, it's you got to be careful about getting too excited. He hasn't even played an NHL game yet. He's played yeah. Traverse City and he's he's looked good in practice, but there's still lots lots of miles ahead of us here to see see where he filters out here at the end.